Today in series of Doplexis KL interviews, we have with us Dr. Rishi Mohan. Dr. Rishi specializes in cornea, cataract and refractive surgery. He completed his fellowship with Project Orbis in USA and DNB followed by FCRS from Royal College of Surgeons, Edinburgh in United Kingdom. He is also the treasurer of the iBank Association of India. He has been awarded membership of Academy of Medical Sciences in 2016. Thank you Dr. Mohan. Uh, so let's begin with uh, the first question. Uh, since you're the treasurer of the I Bank Association of India, uh, can you please elaborate uh, on the association and your role? Well, the I Bank Association is a, is a society which has been structured uh, to coordinate and uh, between the various I Banks of the country and uh, try and see if we can maintain a common standard as well as uh, maintain a common distribution pattern as well as make the guidelines and suggest and interact with the government to try and get a cohesion on the way we work. Uh, that is the real purpose of the iBank Association, to promote awareness in eye donation activities uh, and to ensure that we maintain the highest standards uh, in this process. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the next question, uh, can you please talk about the recent advances uh, and also the challenges that you face, especially in India, for corneal transplantation? Well, corneal transplantation, one of the biggest uh, concerns has always been the availability of tissues. And actually that's where I bankers come in in a big way and the uh, social awareness uh, programs that we run as well as uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the kind of work that the I bankers do who may not necessarily be medical professionals. Uh, they can be from all walks of life uh, because it is in the end a social movement uh, because it's a not-for-profit kind of activity. And our interest is to ensure that we try and get uh, 100,000 uh, corneal transplants done annually because the kind of backlogs that we have, uh, it would take those kind of numbers to be able to make a dent into that backlog. Other than that, uh, it is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the advances that we found in keratoplasty have actually helped improve our outcomes and improve the chances of success. And uh, the corneal transplant uh, and the transplantation mechanisms and the procedures have moved uh, from, uh, from what we call full thickness or the entire corneal replacement to what we now call component surgery, wherein the ultrafine cornea is further split uh, to try and identify which is the diseased area and then only replace the diseased part. So we may do a corneal transplant which is only on the front which is called an anterior lamellar transplant or from the back which is a posterior lamellar and then there are conditions of course where there is a full thickness involvement or disease where we then do the entire cornea. So uh, there is a trend of movement towards doing lamellar surgeries rather than doing full thickness surgeries and now we have access to uh, high quality lasers which help us make these cuts uh, both the horizontal cuts as well as the vertical cuts and different profiles which are giving us better security and better outcomes. Okay, uh, so uh, can you also highlight on the challenges uh, that you face in your practice regarding the same? Well, I think uh, like I mentioned uh, as a corneal transplant surgeon, one of the biggest problems we have is uh, ready availability of quality tissue. Okay. And uh, of all the tissues that we collect, only a percentage can actually be utilized because they must match the requisite standards. Uh, they must be tested for various uh, communicable diseases and excluded in case they were positive. And uh, younger tissues are always nicer, but not uh, as easy to get. Uh, and so those are the challenges on the, on the uh, side of uh, the recipient side. And as far as uh, the uh, surgery itself is concerned, uh, there's training. And corneal surgery training uh, takes a while. Uh, it requires a, a, a degree of skill. Um, and we have about 500 uh, trained corneal surgeons uh, in India which uh, is uh, growing um, and I think with the advent of all these new techniques uh, it's become more exciting as well so I think it's attracting the younger generation into this area. Thank you so much for the interview it was pleasure having you here.